this tutorial on how to play Best That I Can by Vance Joy. We have a capo here on our fourth fret. We're in standard tuning. I'll be teaching you the chord progression that is played throughout the entire song. So we're going to start out here with a G chord. Index finger is going to be on our first fret of the A, or our second fret of the A string. Middle finger on the third fret of the low E. Ring finger on the third fret of the high E. And our strumming goes like this. Down, down, up. Next we're going to go to an A minor chord, so your index finger is going to be on the 1st fret of the B string, middle finger on the 2nd fret of the D, ring finger right under on the 2nd fret of the G, same strumming, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, and then our last chord that we're going to learn here is a C, so you're going to move your ring finger from the 2nd fret of the G up to the second or the third fret of the A string. Okay, so the hard thing here isn't the chords, obviously it's the strumming pattern. So just to review here, we have a G, an A minor, and a C chord. And that's the progression that's played throughout the entire song. But it really is the strumming that's tough. So it's down, down, up, down, up, down, stay on each chord for two measures. Not two measures, two bars. The C gets held for twice as long. slow that way down here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. G, two, C, or A minor. That's it, you can play that throughout the entire song, and it's gonna sound great. I understand if it takes a little while to get that strumming pattern, especially if you're a beginner, it can be kind of a pain to get a hang of there. But that's gonna be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, and if you have a request for a song that there's no tutorial on that you'd like me to do, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.